guys welcome to or welcome back to my channel so today i'm live from saint martin Woo! <laughs> so i've traveled to saint martin and i'm gonna be here for the next three days so i'll just bring you guys along with me we're gonna have lots of fun i can't wait to show you guys what i see and what i do i will show you the tour of our airbnb which is very beautiful like it's so nice everything is so aesthetically pleasing to look at isn't that what aesthetically pleasing means whatever but yes yeah, so stay tuned because we're gonna have a lot of fun on this trip i'm here with my two cousins and my sister and i can't wait so keep watching Okay, so this is the Airbnb. It's called Villa Jade. So you walk in, you have a beautiful view. Um, is the door closed? I guess. <laughs> okay, so you walk in. This is the view we have. It's pretty nice, so mountainous, and all the way over there is Pino Island. Pino Island? No, I think it's Pino. And basically, the place comes with um, two person kayaks. So we can take the kayaks, he said, and it'll take 10 minutes to um, row over there. And basically, we can go to the island and go to eat and stuff. So yeah, that's really exciting. Um, I'm really excited to be here, it's so nice. I love it. A little private beach area, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, it's so nice. I'm really excited. Martin. <laughs> so today is day two. Today we will be going zip lining, which I'm really excited about. Um, actually, what time is it? I think it's like nine o'clock in the morning. So the zip lining appointment is at, or not appointment, the reservation is at 12. Um, so we're gonna get breakfast first. Or actually, we're gonna go to the grocery store first because we wanna get like some stuff for the house and then we want to get water definitely because we read somewhere that you shouldn't drink the like tap water so we're just gonna get like bottled water and um yes yeah, so we're gonna do that before we go to breakfast i don't know the breakfast place we're going to but i'm gonna show you guys once we get there oh let me recap last night sorry i forgot to do that so for dinner, we went to this place called Three Amigos, 
which was a Mexican restaurant and um how would I rate it I kind of would say maybe a six or a seven out of ten it wasn't really that like oh my gosh so spectacular like not really the best Mexican food but Mexican food <laughs> so yeah that was pretty good um, I just got tacos and then we went to this lounge it was called we lounge w e um it was actually pretty good they played really good music they had hookah drinks the drinks were pretty affordable um yeah i would really recommend there i don't know if we're gonna go back probably because we didn't really stay long oh another story okay so we're staying on the french side of st martin so apparently the dutch side has a curfew of 11 p.m and the french side the french side has a curfew of 8 p.m so we were on the dutch side like all the stuff the three amigos and the wee lounge were on the dutch side so we were over there until like 10 30 probably like right before the curfew and we actually got pulled over it was so crazy like it was like a checkpoint and the cops like asked us okay do you guys what are you doing like do you know there's a curfew we're like no we didn't know they're like yeah the curfew's at 8 p.m but supposedly it might be lifted tonight i'm not really sure how we figured that out but yeah that was quite an experience but like my cousin he just handled it really well so it's like really easy to get through that but basically that was the experience so yeah we're gonna go to the supermarket then breakfast then the zip lining and then we'll see what we're doing after that i think we're going to the beach but yes that's the day or the plan for the day so far I need to show you guys my nails. Look how nice they are. Like, I don't know, is it focusing? I don't even know if you need to focus because you just see how beautiful. But, okay, it's really hot out here. I kind of want to go back in. So, I'll see you guys later. This is the supermarket. It's literally like five <laughs> minutes from our Airbnb. <laughs> I do have one actually. Not exactly. No, it's not that discreet. Bienvenue. Welcome. Okay. Okay, so we're just walking around. Oh, they have parasailing. You can go jet skiing, parasailing, tubing, flyboarding, trampoline, snorkeling, taxi boat. Trampoline? Where is it at? Oh, where is the trampoline at? Oh my gosh, look at the water, darling. It's so blue. The water is so Wow, yeah, look at the water. Oh my god. Wait, so where are we at? Because the Kitty Water Sports, Orient Bay. So we have fresh fruit, orange juice, <laughs> and then I got mint tea. Ow! What the? <laughs> mint tea. I'm actually going to have to edit that part out. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, um, so <laughs> I'm back. So I don't remember where we left off. I think. Oh, I think the last thing I mentioned was that we we're gonna go zip lining. So we did that. And hey, well, um, this young lady over here, that's my uh, cousin. <laughs> yeah, um, Sorry about that. not a little cousin of mine, but she's um, one of them. One of one of them. Um, I wanted to say happy birthday. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Aww. So yeah, the zip lining was back. great. It was back. an extreme yeah. zip line thing. Look at his face. It was an extreme zip line like, thing. So basically, <laughs> oh, you um, right. it was zip lining and then walking on ropes and climbing up ladders and all this crazy stuff. But it was an experience. It was pretty cool. And then we came home, got showered. Now we're out to eat. The place we're eating at is Cynthia's Take Talk on the Beach. Talk to the. Cynthia's talk of the town. Cynthia's talk of the town. Lolo bar and restaurant. Sorry. So the guy that um that did the that led the zip line tour, he told us that we should come here. It's like a good local spot. So that's where we're at. And then we're getting our COVID test done after this. The lady's coming to our house to do that because you need a COVID test to go back to the states. So. Yeah, we're just here. We ordered a lot of food. So that's my sister. So we're gonna order the food. I mean, we already ordered the food. I'm gonna show you guys when we get it. And then, oh, like I said, I kind of mentioned it, but the curfew here is at eight. So basically, once we get home, once we get home for the COVID test, we're not going to be able to go after that. So, yeah, we're just going to hang out at home. I'll update you if we do anything else. But, can I buy?
Okay, so we're here at Maho Beach. This is where like the planes take off, arrive and depart back there. Oh my gosh, my hair looks crazy. But yeah, we're here. We've seen a couple of planes. You got to give it time though. We've had one drink. <laughs> this is my cousin Amber. I didn't introduce anyone. This is my cousin brother. Oh, brother was in the engagement video. Yeah. <laughs> and that's my twin sister, Taylor. We're having a great time. That's what I did. You did? Um, yeah, well, you're probably going to go get into the beach. Get into the beach. Get yeah. into the water and then go to another beach after this. But so far, so good. It's very hot today. What is this restaurant called? Oh, Sunset, Sunset. Cafe. No, or no, Sunset. Sunset. We're at Sunset Bar. Or Sunset Beach, St. Martin. Yeah, pretty good. Um, Look, if you can see in the distance, a plane's coming wow, in. Is it? Can you even see it on here? Where is it at? Oh, yes, there it is. I can't even see it on the camera. It's come. Yeah, you can. No, I'm not doing no running, sis. <laughs> Yep, so that's basically what you see all day. All right, we'll see you soon. back at Sunset Cafe. I will highly recommend this place for breakfast. <coughs> so many options. And then, look at this beautiful view. Like, it's so nice. And this beach right here is not a private beach, so you can definitely come here or like after breakfast, you can definitely go swimming. It's so nice here. I love this place very mixed with it. Oh, that's the mix? Oh, that's the mix. Yeah, the two different ones. Here you go, teats. Did I show you guys my nails? I'm obsessed with them. They're so beautiful. Wow. This is so beautiful. I just can't with this beauty, guys. It's so peaceful. We're just walking. There's like a little deck here. Some rocks, a deck. Such beautiful scenery, guys. Stop! Now I'm definitely about to ask for this. <laughs> I really love water that like has the light patches and the dark patches. Yeah. Wow! Look at all that bacon. Yes. 
It reminds me of that box beginning that daddy used to buy. Oh, oh no, that you put in the microwave. Oh my gosh, I remember that stuff. Dutch on the other side. You said yeah? Probably. Um. Okay, so we've reached the end of the trip. I don't know if I updated you. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if I updated you, but yesterday, what do we do? Yesterday was just a beach day. Um, we went to Maho Beach, which is the beach that has, or the beach that the planes like fly right over. So that was a really cool experience. And then the Airbnb that we're staying in came with kayaks. So we kayaked to Pino, Pinal, I don't know how to pronounce it, Island. Maybe it took about 20 minutes, which was a cool experience. But by the time we kayaked there, um, it's like a bar that's there. I think it's called Yellow Bar or Yellow Beach or something. By the time we kayaked there, it was closed. It closed at 5. So if you want to go there, then go before then. So the curfew was supposed to end yesterday, but then we found out that... Um, no, it was supposed to end the day before yesterday. But then we found out that they actually extended it for another week. So ultimately, if we... So ultimately staying on the French side, we weren't able to go out past 8 p.m. Which kind of sucks because the curfew on the Dutch side is 11 p.m. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm not sure because we only found out that the curfew was extended by asking someone that worked at a restaurant. So I'm not sure how you can really prepare for that. But maybe there's a website that will tell you. I'm going to look and see if I can link it in the description box. Basically, yeah. The trip was amazing. I'm really like it was short, but we really made the most of every single day And I'm really appreciative of my family because I had such a great time and It was all laughs and fun. Can't wait till the next vacation um, I hope that this vlog is informational and that you Have a good idea of what it'll be like to come to st. Martin because it's definitely beautiful and like the landscape is just so nice like everything is very nice to look at no it was a great time um i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one bye